Hi friends! Welcome to Storytime with Michelle. I'm Michelle and I have a lovely story to share with you today. It's called Chirpy Charlie's Teeth. And this was written by Marta Safrilla and illustrated by Sonia Wimmer and published by Cuentos de Luz. Now let's have a closer look at this cover. What's going on here? This looks like a bird holding a toothbrush. I wonder if I wonder if he's Charlie. Maybe he's Chirpy Charlie. Hmm. Do birds have teeth? I never really thought about that before. I don't think so, but he's got a toothbrush. Well, there's lots of questions to answer, so let's read the book and get to the bottom of it. Will you read with me? Let's go. Chirpy Charlie's Teeth, written by Marta Safrilla, illustrated by Sonia Wimmer, and published by Cuento de Luz. Julie, brush your teeth or you'll need a filling, yelled Julie's mom. Well, I'm a little bird who looks after his health and all this business about getting a filling must be horrible because she talks about it every day. There's no way I'm going to have one of those things in my teeth. I carefully watched Julie brushing her teeth, but there's one thing I can't quite work out. How do birds brush their teeth? I looked it up in the encyclopedia, but I couldn't find anything. I don't want problems with my teeth because I don't look after them properly. Just like Julie's mom says, teeth are for your whole life. I searched and searched, but there was nothing in the books or on the internet. I asked Goldfish, and he told me that sharks clean their sharp teeth with seaweed. They have several rows of teeth it must take ages to get them all shiny and clean. I tried to clean my teeth using some clover leaves I found in the garden, but they just turned my beak green. That was worse than having dirty teeth. I asked Little Hamster, and he told me that beavers clean their teeth with bark from the trees they chomp their way through. I decided to try and clean my teeth against one of the legs of the kitchen table. But all that happened was Julie's mom yelled at me, and I ended up with a really sore beak. When I asked Ant about it, she told me that grasshoppers clean their saw-edged teeth by chopping down flowers. So I thought I'd try it out with some lovely orchids that were in the front room. All I managed to do was tip over the pot. Julie's dad stomped around with a confused look on his face trying to work out what on earth had happened. Uh-oh. Finally, I decided to try out a toothbrush, just for myself, to fight off the fillings, like Julie says every time she cleans her teeth. So I flapped into the bathroom and tried to pick one up out of the glass. But my beak isn't very good at grabbing things, and crash, what a mess. Julie ran into the bathroom wondering what all the noise was about. What are you up to, Charlie? Do you want to brush your teeth? I looked up at her with relief, glad that she had finally worked out what I wanted. Chirpy Charlie, you can't brush your teeth, she said in a very serious voice. You don't have any. What do you mean I don't have any teeth? That's impossible. Julie bent down and pulled a new toothbrush out of the bathroom cabinet. She unwrapped it and said, You may not have any teeth, but I promise I'll brush your beak every day after you eat. You'll have the brightest, shiniest beak in town. I was so happy. Julie is my best friend ever. The end. Aww. That was such a sweet story. Of course, birds don't have teeth, and Charlie figured that out, didn't he? But he does have a best friend in Julie, and she gave him a toothbrush. And she took very good care of her teeth, didn't she? And I hope all of you do as well. Remember, you gotta brush your teeth at least twice a day. I hope you're doing that. Take good care of those pearly white teeth that you have. If you like the story, please click on the thumbs up. And um, if you wanna request a story, you can visit me over on Facebook. Look for Storytime with Michelle um, Book Club, and you can leave your requests there. And maybe I'll read your story next. Until next time. 
Happy reading!